All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakudash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, Bahasham, meaning in the name. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, and powerful name of His only begotten Son, who is the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting off with the elect within the nation of Israel. And Israel consists of the so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as Jews and white foreigners scattered abroad that may look like the nations where you've been scattered to, but our Israelites. And I also like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful the like pushing out this word on sincerity and truth. All right, this is the brother you call from the GMS branch on Des Moines, Iowa, coming back at you with another lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit, Harakak Warash. And um, in this lesson, I just want to do a quick in transit. Um, just really flowing through the spirit. I had a few things I was meditating on um, in the scripture that I was uh, thinking about was that in the book of Timothy's where it says fight the good fight of faith all right because in this walk all right the main goal is to keep our faith through the end all right keep our faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shad through the end now in the book of Hebrews the 11th chapter the first verse it says that faith is um the evidence of things hoped for or a silk salaki faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of not, that is not seen right so in these trying times that we're going to go through, it's going to be things that we don't see, all right, where it looks like there's no way out of certain situations, all right, because it's going to get hard out here, all right, um, it's going to get tough, we're going to come into some real uh, tough times where it looks like there's no, no way out of it, all right, where it's clear that we can't deliver ourselves, all right, where something as simple as, or convenient like right now is you can still go to the grocery store still there's things that are off the shelf but it's going to come a time where you won't have that access to go to the grocery store and then that's when that faith must kick in that's what our faith must must kick in well if i can't go to the grocery store there's no food i can go uh, easily access but still even though i don't see that there's a way for me to get food i believe through the faith that i have that the lord will provide I believe through the examples that I've seen in the scriptures that the Lord will um, give me all uh, everything that I need. Now that's faith. You don't see it, but you believe it because it's truly seen through the scriptures, through the examples that we see with our forefathers on how the Lord delivered us, or how the Lord fed us uh, in the wilderness. All right, uh, with manna, quails, okay, water from out of a rock. These are things that the Lord has done. Now they didn't see those things at the time. Our people murmured. But the Lord still made a way. All right. So this is this is what we're gonna have to stand upon. Stand upon our faith in the Lord doing these things. Now going back to the precept that I quoted at the beginning, it says, "Fight the good fight of faith." So that's the goal, man. Keeping our faith through the end. Yahweh Shai said, "When the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith on earth?" So it lets you know that things are gonna get so rough to where faith is gonna be scarce. All right, where a lot of people aren't gonna have faith. All right, the only people that are gonna still have faith in Yahweh Shai is gonna be the elect. It's going to get so tough out here. People are going to lose their faith. They're going to submit into this devil, submit into this system, getting the RFID chip, whatever the case may be, because they don't have faith in the Lord. All right. They don't believe in the Lord delivering them, though, uh, um, uh, um, because they can't see it. All right. They need tangible things like I need to. This is tangible. Getting the, the chip is going to be seem like something that's tangible to them. All right. Well, this is easy, an easy way out. All right. This will deliver me from the affliction that I'm suffering right now. All right, and then I can feed my family. I can do this and that, or whatever, because our people don't have faith. But as the scripture says in the book of uh, Sirach, I believe it's the 36th chapter, it says, "Let thy servants be found faithful, or let thy prophets be found faithful." Roughly paraphrasing. So the Lord is going to find that faith within His elect. But that's what this whole walk is about. All right, it's about uh, building up, uh, building up our faith for these times that we're going to enter into, uh, trusting in Yahweh Shai, no matter what the circumstances um, may be, no matter what we must go through. All right. Um, now the scripture said in the book of uh, First Peter, the fourth chapter, uh, the twelfth verse, it says, um, uh, "Thinking not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you." Now, when you look up that word fiery trial, uh, I believe it's like a Greek word, or uh, perlosis, or uh, pyrolosis, or something along those lines. And one of the points that it says, it says, uh, pretty much, I'm just roughly paraphrasing, but it uh, says pretty much the um, the tribulation, uh, the tribulation that is used to try one's character. So, our character is going to be tried, all right? 
Now, it says the trial of a man is in his reasoning. So when we go through these things, what reasoning, what wisdom and knowledge are we going to rely on all right, to make the proper decisions, right? Now, of course, it should be the wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures, right? Of what's written of our forefathers, the examples that they went through. That's that what had that should be our reasoning through everything that we go through is these scriptures. Well, it doesn't matter how it looks, what well, the Lord did this, the Lord did that, he's capable, you know. So we are gonna be tried, and it, it mentions as a fiery trial, so we're gonna be put in that furnace. You know, we already are put in the furnace in various afflictions that we go through right now. But we're gonna be put in different situations and uh, one thing we want to always keep in mind is that the Lord is orchestrating these scenarios, all right? He's orchestrating us to go through certain things, and it's not for our destruction, but it's just a trial process, you know? It's it's really, um, now, it's really going to be for our benefit, all right? Like it says in Romans, the 8th chapter says, all things work out to the good for them that love the most high, because what happens when you're delivered out of a situation, your faith is uh, boosted. So now, if you're put in that same situation another time, then you have faith now oh, well the lord already delivered me out of something like this you know all right it's uh, I, I can make it through this you know the lord delivered me. that just boosts your faith you know so these things are going to be for our betterment but we can't negate the fact that we must and will go through it we have to continue to prepare our mind for these things all right we have to prepare our mind for not having certain resources or certain comforts and still having trust and yeah, about Shimei, I was shy to do so. And it's going to be time to where, hey, the scripture says we shall be married and have abundance, right? So we're going to be well taken care of, but we're still going to be tried. Like it says in uh, Revelation, the second chapter, it says that the devil shall cast some of you into prison that you may be tried, right? So the Lord is going to allow that. He's going to allow the, uh, the devil to cast some of us, whether it be in these concentration camps. And it's going to work out for our benefit because our faith is going to be boosted and it's going to exalt the name of Yahweh Shemayahu Because when he delivers us out of these situations, these people are going to see it, okay? These people are going to see it, man. And that's why it says in the book of Second Nephesus, then shall it be known who are my chosen. They're going to see the Lord dealing with this man. All right, delivering uh, those that are faithful unto him. They're going to acknowledge our power and how he uh, helps us and provides for us and guides us and protects us. That's going to be well seen, but the Lord can only, it's only, a, it makes it more glor glorious when we're brought to very low estates, right? When we're brought down very low, a base very, uh, very low to where it doesn't seem like we have a way out. And then the Lord brings us out of that. That's how the Lord gets the glory out of those things, man. Okay. That's how the Lord is going to get the glory. He's going to use us. So we have to keep that in mind as well, man. The Lord is going to use us to exalt his name. But in doing so, we have to be brought down very low. We have to be a base, you know. So these are just a few things that I've been uh, I've been kind of meditating on, you know, knowing the, the times that we're about to enter into uh, Jacob's trouble. All right. Now, these aren't things to fear, but it's things that we have to prepare our minds for. All right. Just like with any fight. You shouldn't fear uh, when you're entering into that fight. You really shouldn't fear that uh, you're about to go into a fight. All right, you know you shouldn't um, fear uh, your opponent because you're already defeated. You know if you are, and you, if you already think like, damn, I ain't gonna win. You know what? Well, then you already lost the battle before you even enter into the ring. But these things are to prepare our minds so that we can already uh, start training, so to speak. If you know there's a fight ahead. What uh, boxer, all right, he's got a fight in, 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 in two months. What boxer isn't going to go through training, all right? Isn't going to run, all right? Isn't going to get his stamina up. Isn't going to uh, exercise exercise himself to prepare himself for it, right? Of course he's going to prepare himself, right? So that's the same thing with us. We are being prepared, and the Lord is uh, taking us through certain things now. So then when we're in these certain battles that uh, we can fare well. All right, we, we can do well, so to speak. All right, we're, we're getting ready for a test, just like with a test. Any test that you go through, you want to study for it. If you don't study for that test, and then that exam is thrown on your table, and you're looking at these questions like, what the hell is this? I, don't, I didn't even study for this. Well, you didn't study. You knew a test was coming, but you didn't study. So all the, these are just things to keep in mind. We're in the preparation for uh, uh, the battle of maintaining our faith, all right? Keeping it to the end, because if we have that faith in Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by the time we get up out of here, the Lord is going to deliver us, man. Because that's the key to our deliverance, our faith in Yahweh Shemiah Shai, man. So, hey, 
We want to pray for these things. All right. We want to fast um, for these things as well. All right. That our faith fail not because it says in the book of Sirach, the second chapter, it says, woe to him that is faint hearted. All right. Woe to him that is faint hearted for he shall not be def uh, defended because he believeth not. So if we are showing that we don't believe in the Lord. Okay. Not saying that we're going to have times in the flesh. All right. Just like Peter, it was times uh, when he was walking on water. All right. He stood on faith and then. All right. Um, those winds start blowing and and then he started sinking because he lost his faith and what did, uh, he started losing um, faith. But what did the Lord do? He stepped in and he pulled him up out of the water. All right. And it was like, oh, you have little faith. Right. So even in those times where our flesh rouses up. All right. Yahweh about Shimei Shai is going to be there to to lift us up. All right. The scripture says in the book of Hebrews, um, we have a faithful high priest that is there to secure us. Now that word secure means to help. All right. So Yahweh Shai is our high priest that's been touched with the things that we go through. All right. He was in the flesh. All right. So he can help us through these times and tribulations if we call out unto him. You know, call out to the Lord. Baba Shai, help me with, with my unbelief. All right. And that's what uh, someone asked. Now I forget. Uh, it was somebody I believe he had a son that had a he was being played with a demon he was being thrown into the fire thrown into the water and then um, uh, Yahweh Shai I believe if I'm not mistaken on the account but Yahweh Shai asked me he was like do thou believe that I can do this all right pretty much heal the son and he said yeah Lord I believe and help me with my unbelief so he acknowledged that yeah I have faith all right but I need more faith you know there's still some doubt um, that I may have and if, if that be so help me um, Help remove that doubt uh, that doubt. All right increase my faith So we have to acknowledge that man that hey, there's still doubt. All right uh, Within us at times are right, we do show examples of unbelief and the scripture says we walk by faith and not by sight So we should be walking in faith and everything man. Okay, we shouldn't be flustered by trials and tribulations the scripture says that we shall not be afraid of evil tidings. Evil tidings is bad news. So we shouldn't be flustered and afraid of bad news or or uh, 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 weak hearted, you know. But once again, we're in this flesh. So this is a, a perfect time to continue to call out to the Lord to, to help build up our faith our, so that we can make it through these times and that uh, we can be acceptable in the, in the sight of the Lord. All right, because it says that it is impossible to please the most high. Uh, uh, without faith, is it without faith? It is impossible to please the Most High. All right, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So, if we want to please the Lord, we got to walk on faith. All right, we got to step. We got to step on faith. Okay, we're gonna have to make decisions where it's like shit. I don't see a way out, but I'm gonna just trust in the Lord. All right, I'm gonna trust in the uh, what I what I've learned. These precepts. All right, the Lord said He'll do this and that, and I'm gonna stand upon that, man. Okay, and then whatever happens, happens, man. All right, just like with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh, when it came down to bowing down to Nebuchadnezzar's uh, statue, all right, they straight up told Nebuchadnezzar, we won't be careful to answer you in this matter, all right? They said, we won't be careful to answer you in this matter. Our Lord is a full power that can deliver us out of this. And if he doesn't deliver us, we still aren't going to, um, we still aren't going to um, uh, serve or bow down to your God, you know? So they acknowledged like, yeah, the Lord, he's a full power, but if, if the Lord has us right now paying for our sins that we've committed or whatever the case may be just like the uh the brothers in uh the maccabees man all right that's uh one of the brothers in the maccabees he's like look we're suffering for the sins that we've committed all right <laughs> but you antiochus when this when they were speaking to antiochus you are going to escape all right the judgment of the lord so certain things that the lord may allow us to go through as a um still are right, us serving out our punishment for our iniquities okay but yeah he'd still be with us but we know that he can deliver us out of it all. So, hey, we step on our faith and whatever the Lord does, he does, man. And still acknowledging that we are punished less than our iniquities deserve. So, hey, the Lord is with us, man. All right. The Lord is with us and, and he is going to deliver us. All right. The, we are just going to be tossed into the hands of this devil to be uh, to be destroyed. All right. Now, the Lord is, is going to um, uh, help us. All right. He's going to see us through these things, you know. So that was just a few things that I had in mind that I was meditating on, you know, uh, Lord's what I was edifying and exhorting and just kind of put brothers in that mindset of, of really preparing, getting their their, uh, their hearts prepared uh, for the temptation that we must uh, go through, all right, denying the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, all right, being uncomfortable, all right, being outside of our homes on the run, all right, in certain instances, man, okay, and, and these are things that our, our forefathers have already gone through, being thrown in all types of situations and 
and the Lord delivering us uh, out of them all, man. As it says in the book of Psalms, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord deliver us out of them all, man. But Lord's word, I was edifying, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, and by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakaq double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone, who will well, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word, all sincerity and the truth. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.